Captain Aaron. Greetings. Everything's five by five. What can I help you with? Actually, yes, I do. Here you are. Until later.
we're back online.
Our jump systems back up. Safe and sound. Banda, you owe me 30 credits. You're tougher than I thought. Easy money. So while you were doing that, I used the communication satellites to triangulate some spacer's chatter. You did what? I'm more than just a pretty face. Anyway, there's an old derelict star station the spacers are using as a base. I mean, there's a real outside chance there's a relay or something there, but these spacers aren't the most savvy of customers. I'm telling you, that's where they're holed up. Couldn't say it better myself. There are undoubtedly a lot of spacers there, both ships and men on the station itself. We need to excise this cancer from our system. Every last one of them. 100% agree. So, oh glorious leader, any words of wisdom or inspiration before we embark? This is it. The big one. We need to bring everything we got to bear. There won't be any do-overs on this one. We'll all be waiting for you to jump in. Someone responded to the distress call? Good day, Captain. Hi. Please disregard. I will accompany you.
That was a pretty shot at their grab drive.
I am uncertain why you believed conflict with us was advisable. advisable to leave some things behind. This is the first deep breath I've taken in months. I make no illusions. You did this. And now it's up to us to keep it going. Very diplomatic. It's horseshit, of course. But it sounded nice. The rest of the families and I, well, uh, we chipped in for a reward. I know it's probably a pittance compared to what someone like you makes. Just dirt poor farmers and miners just trying to get by. I think I need to shut up now. Don't want to get. Who the hell knows? We're coming off a victory, so that might buy us a honeymoon period. But maybe, maybe it'll last. Don't you dare! I have my precious reputation to maintain. If you ever 
are in this system. You come back and visit. We'll give you a warm welcome for the ages. All is well, Captain, all things considered. Undocking complete, Captain. Touchdown, in I should have known it. There's no hole deep enough. 
No rock desolate enough that Gal Bank won't find you in time. If you're here for payment, I've got none to give. Sold everything to retire comfortably in obscurity. I spent my life trying to get ahead. No matter how much I tried, it never took. So these past few, I've just been barely scraping by. The marks keep getting younger, and my ship just keeps getting older. <laughs> At a certain point, I, I knew the game was rigged. So I maxed out my limits and headed off. As you can see, I'm, I'm not looking to live a life in luxury, just a simple, quiet life. I believe you. Not that it matters. Listen, I won't go peaceful, and I can't pay you. So the way I see it is you have a choice. We fight and see who's lucky. Or dead. Or maybe you leave here. Say it was a bum lead. It happens from time to time. Give an old fellow a peaceful retirement. <sighs> That's an answer. Not the one I was hoping for.
careful if you run into those ecliptic jerks. They fly around like they own the settled systems. make a difference. Well, I got the report. The mercenary is dead. I'm sure there's a lesson there. Here's your pay. Good luck out there. I mean... Well, we have to try. Every time someone skips out, those credits just don't go away. And those are credits that could have been a loan for a mom and pop trying to start a hydroponic farm. Or they could take a bite out of our share prices. I mean, all sorts of retirement funds pay out a little less. I know it seems, well, hopeless. But what we do matters. Galp, if there is any way I can assist you, I'd be happy to. With Gal Bank, your money is always safe. Always. <laughs> Dealing with you is the best part of my week. Hey, this really isn't a good place for civilians to be hanging around. There's something I can help you with? Yeah, I can't really just let you in there. I wish I could, but if... It... I hear you. All right, look, don't tell anyone I did this for you. I could lose my job over it. If anyone asks, I had nothing to do with this. You got it? One second. All right, make it quick, will you? again. Can I get you something? Hey there, new guy. Hope life is treating you well. Oh, no way. You really got it? I probably don't want to know what you did to get this, right? I mean, I want to know, but... I certainly hope not. This is a... 
Well, look, I can assure... On top of that, you get free drinks. Not... not like unlimited free drinks. I need some time to work on what comes... Catch you later. Star space. Please hold your current speed and heading while we scan you for contraband.
Landing struts primed, retros firing. Everything looks good at my station, Captain. health will be compromised by carrying so many items. Hello. Should you require my...
you'll play by the house rules, or you'll find yourself on the other side of an airlock without a helmet. without paying your check I was just going out for some fresh air I, I even told the bartender you can ask her yourself fresh air huh on a planet with no atmosphere that's enough stalker lower your weapon we don't shoot guests over a misunderstanding sir please return to your table it's bad practice to leave our establishment without paying your bill first if you need some fresh air Pay up, go outside, and come back in and start a new check when you're ready. I'm sorry, but I didn't think it would be a problem. You were wrong. Dead wrong. That's enough. I think the gentleman understands. Now let's all go back inside, shall we? And Stalker, you and I are going to talk about this later. I can't wait. Mess around and find out. You believe that? Like I'm gonna run off without paying. The hell kind of scum do they think I am? I want to so get the hell out of my face. Yeah. Hey. You're the captain of that ship. Is your registration paperwork in order? Fine. Truth is, I don't really give a damn. I gotta ask, because it's my job, you know? And don't get me wrong. I used to care about running a tight operation. Had everything going nice and smooth. But when May started building this place up and hired those mercs, <laughs> everything went straight to hell. I voiced my displeasure. And now I'm on the outs. May security. Bunch of wannabe soldier assholes is more like it. Call themselves ecliptic. They think there's some sort of uh, elite paramilitary unit. I'll tell you what they really are. They're nothing but punks with guns that get off on pushing people around. I get the need for having some security out here. We're independent. That ain't lost on me. But these guys are the worst of the worst. More trouble than they're worth, you know? Not by a little. Yep, she took over a little while ago. Drove out all the regulars because they didn't fit in with her new vision for the place. Now, I'm not saying they were saints, but at least it was some respect for the people whose blood and sweat makes this place work, you know? You'll find her inside. Whatever you're here for, she's probably the one you want to talk to first. All right, pal, I get it. But anyone ever tell you it's not a good idea to piss off your mechanic? Think about it before you pop off to me again. Anyway, I'm sure you're already sick of my bitching. If you need parts for that ship or a top up on the grab drive fuel, that's me. I mean, I could charge you, but I won't. There's no work to be done on that ship of yours. Huh? Oh yeah, sure. Look at what we got in stock.
You want to share? Start some trouble. Give me an excuse to air you out. Welcome to Red Mile. We've got clean rooms and neat drinks. Can I help you out with either of those? Or both? Ooh, what about both? That's why I hired you and your people. I trust if this pirate- We do have a room available and ready to go. So, how long are you thinking of staying? And crew weighs one thing. Sure, I can get you set up. The room at the top of the stairs and at the end of the hall is all yours. Whatever you have to say, I don't give a shit. Oh, 
short now, but I'll be cured back someday. If you're looking to register, you need to. Nothing quite like the excitement of a run. Happy to serve you, as long as you respect my rules and. That's really simple, I know, the red pile. Ah, a new face. I wonder, is this the face of a brave runner here to challenge the red mile? Or simply one seeking a respite from the burdens of life? My name is May, and I'm the proprietor of this establishment, home of the famous Red Mile. I assume you're familiar. Let's rectify that then, shall we? You will not find a more exciting blood sport in all the settled systems. The Red Mile is an exciting and deadly race to the finish for the galaxy's bravest champions. Those that manage to complete the course win fame and fortune. Those that don't are never heard from again. <clears throat> I'm happy to answer any other questions you might have. In the meantime, Please enjoy our world's famous hospitality. Well, it's quite simple, really. Once you register with me, we'll have a little pomp and circumstance before sending you on your way out the big red door. Then it's a race to the buzzer at the other end of the course. You'll deal with obstacles and deadly creatures alike, while people up here place bets on how far you'll get. Make it back alive, and you'll stand to win riches and the admiration of your fans. I'm sure you can figure out what happens if you fail. Of course. And if you're thinking... Ah, a fresh runner! We love rookies around here. No one ever knows how they're going to do out there, so it makes for... But the Red Mile is not for the weak and faint of heart. Do you fully understand that by participating in a run, there is risk to life and limb? Good. And are you able to confirm that you are of sound mind, not under the influence of any substances and not under any form of coercion? Very well, then. Step aside and we'll announce your run. After the introduction, you'll want to head down the elevator. Then, you're on your own. Use whatever tools necessary to survive. Run to the beacon and activate it. Then make it back here for your prize. Good luck, runner. Always looking for new and returning runners for the Red Mile. This place used to be the real dog. Oh, you patrons, and it's all thinking of running sometimes. Attention, please. I have an exciting announcement. They can get rowdy. We have a courageous new runner seeking fame and fortune in the Red Mile. Do you think this new challenger has what it takes? Choose your wager wisely. Now, who's excited to see how the rookie contenders prepare in today's Red Mile Challenge? Open the door and wish him luck because he's going to need it!
this emergency channel, but we are in need of assistance concerning the large ship in orbit, and we value discretion in this matter. If you are willing and able, please see me as soon as possible at the main security office in Paradiso. Over now. Good to go, Cap. Greetings, Captain. Stay alert. Weapons at the ready. You're... human? It's just that... we weren't expecting to find life, let alone human life out here. We thought we were the only ones to leave Earth. Perhaps we should greet our guests. Of course. Manners. I'm Captain Diana Brackenridge. This is Security Officer Bomani Reader. Hmm. And this is Dr. Mabuti da Costa, one of our elders. A pleasure to meet you. I see. As you may have presumed, we're in a bit of a bind. Our ship has finally completed its near 200-year journey from Earth, only to find our new home seemingly colonized by... well, we don't know. Communications haven't been successful, so your arrival is fortuitous. Perhaps you'd be willing to act as a middle person between ourselves and... the others. Well, the short answer is, we didn't. It's a generation ship, which is to say that most of us lived long, happy lives on board and passed our mission down to our children. It was never intended that the original crew would make it to our destination. The goal was always the preservation of the human race, above all else. Though, it would seem that was perhaps a bit <laughs> presumptuous. We're not entirely sure. Our engineers believe it's possible that our technology just isn't compatible with theirs. All we hear when using them to communicate with anyone is a bunch of disturbing noise. It gave me the heebie-jeebies at first. We do. Well, sort of. We saw structures using our surveying equipment. We've also seen the various ships pass us by. Some even seemed to want to communicate, but couldn't. Of course, we had no idea that they were being piloted by other humans. Of course, we know that now. Human or not, we were still unable to communicate our intentions. As soon as we discovered them, we fully expected negotiations would be necessary. Now then, Please follow me. There's much to discuss first. We'll speak more on the matter once we reach the bridge. Dr. DaCosta, you may return to your quarters if you wish. Thank you, Captain. I will follow you to the bridge, ma'am. I do not believe we have need to fear our guest, but I'll allow it if you insist. Welcome to the Earth colony ship Constant. In the early 2100s, my ancestor, Rupert Brackenridge, researched a number of scientific scenarios, climate change, asteroid impact, nuclear war, global pandemic, and more. Each scenario showed the likelihood of an extinction level event to be within 50 years. He fully believed Earth was destined to be rendered uninhabitable. We've always assumed that's what happened. We were never so, trained he gathered to the best and brightest he could find, ship. built the constant, and set a course for this planet here. We were told that it was the largest, most advanced ship ever constructed on Earth at the time. If you can believe, entire generations have been born, lived, and died on this ship. It really goes to show that there are no limits to human ingenuity and perseverance. Just because our equipment's old doesn't mean it won't work to take down troublemakers. Now that we know what's out there, things are going to be more interesting from here on out. So, here we are. Let's talk. 
We didn't believe anyone would be out here, but I'm glad for it. Well, as I mentioned, we've been unsuccessful in communications with anyone up until you arrived, though not for lack of trying. But since you're asking, maybe you'd be willing to be a sort of diplomat between us and them as we attempt to resolve our situation. Does that sound agreeable to you? We know there's a settlement on the planet below, meaning people were here before us. You see, we intended to settle here, but we assume that they intend to defend their claim given their presence here. We'd like you to go speak to them on our behalf and help us negotiate a solution, preferably one that favors us. Yes, yes, of course. But we need to start from a firm position and state our goal. If need be, we can compromise, work out a mutually beneficial deal or some such. But initially, I'd like you to be firm with them and convince them to leave the planet to us. Let me know how they respond, and we'll go from there. We thought about it. But it simply won't do. I need to think about the distant future of our people. Sure, our first settlement may be small, but our predecessors dreamt of our new civilization spreading across the globe. That will be difficult if someone else plans to do the same. While we're not completely close to the idea of sharing, it's much easier if we have complete domain over this world. Thank you, and Godspeed. seen a ship like yours before. Then again, I haven't seen any ships before you arrived. We've got strict rules around here, but they're strict. To the outcome, I won't let my crew down. Just stay out of trouble. I wonder what else is out there. It will always appreciate. Live my entire life in constant. I wonder what it's like out there beyond the power of the Wow. Hi. The constant is a peaceful ship. Don't change that. We've got strict rules around here, but they're strict for everything. Ready for action, Captain.
Bye bye. Let's see what's on this ball. You're staying safe out there. Welcome to Paradiso. Jiro Sukiyama at your service. Do you have a security concern, or is there something else I can help you with? <laughs> Neither. We're our own private force. The Paradiso Group pays top dollar for top-notch security. And I dare say we're some of the best in the business. We have to be out here on the fringes of the settled systems. Something I can help you with? Oh, yes. Let's get right to it then. As you can imagine, we've got a predicament on our hands. Under normal circumstances, we would not enlist outside help in this manner. But this is a matter we can't afford to worry our guests about. As such, we need to handle this discreetly. Failure on your part to do so could have severe consequences. So, before we proceed, can you swear not to discuss this with anyone else unless explicitly directed to do so? You're right. We're not. Which means we're not bound by anyone's laws but our own. In other words, it's our system and our rules. Neither the UC nor the Free Star Collective will help you if you get into trouble here. Great. I appreciate it. Not too long ago, a strange and enormous ship appeared in Parima space. It is now locked in orbit around our planet. So far, doesn't seem to be hostile, but any attempts to communicate with it have been in vain, so we're unsure of the ship's intentions. I see. Well, if you're speaking on their behalf, I'll refer you right along to the chairman of the Paradiso Group's board, Oliver Campbell. All formal decisions will go through him, not me. I'll let him know you're on your way. I promise, when we're done with you, you'll feel as good about yourself as I do. Why, hello, darling. We can make you thin, or perhaps... Yes, goodbye, darling. No one's going to care if I call out sick from work for another week, right?
Your safety is our number one priority. It's my pleasure to make sure our guests are happy. Need something? <sighs> Welcome to Paradiso Gift Shop in Convenience. Feel free to look around, but don't break anything or you've got to buy it. And before you ask... Okay. There you go. <laughs> what a nice day, huh? Excuse me, you can't just waltz in there. Do you have an appointment? Oh, you're the one they're waiting for then. Do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board? Sure. We try to stay out of our guests' way, but we're always here. I to just feel that we should be focusing on the natural beauty of this planet, not our amenities. There are millions of planets out there. People can go to any one of them. The resort facilities are precisely what we bring to the table. Heck, it's the only thing we've really got to offer. Ah, I don't want to risk us coming off as just TV another was artificial, in here. shady, trash-filled dump like Neon. That's not who oh, yeah. we are. We and you must be the here. diplomat Jiro told that. me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given these circumstances, I'm going to cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the... Aliens up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens! <laughs> ah, we're being direct then. Good on you. <laughs> so, what do you know about this dodgy ship I'm hearing all about? Well, that's something. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not going to work. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Ah, uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. 
We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. We own this planet, they don't. Here at Paradiso, we don't like leaving things to chance. Who knows what these people will do with their land? Imagine the landscaping disasters they might come up with. And how that might mar the satellite imagery of the planet in our brochures. No, much better to assimilate them into our culture if they come here to live, rather than leave it to chance. Well, absurd or not, that's our official stance. I make the decisions that are best for our entire group. You don't. And which proposal will you be taking to the good captain? I assume there's a captain. They'd be hard-pressed to defend their claim in any courts. Our charter goes back years. It was registered with both the UC and Free Star Collective, per the Centaurus Proclamation. We may be outside the settled systems, but that charter's official as can be. I'm sorry, but you're going to need to be the one to break the news to them that they need to make a compromise or leave. I have no idea. Because I'm not suggesting anything of the sort. But it's a wonder that old ship made it all the way here in such a relatively short time. Must have really been pushing themselves. An engineer friend of mine told me once that the reactors on those old ships have a tendency to self-destruct if they overload. Of course, their engineers must have taken great care not to push it too far. Someone would likely have to override the safety systems in the reactor computer. But who would do such a thing? Ah, good on you. You want to see a man named Benny St. James over at Hope Tech. He's the best in the business. If anyone can retrofit a 200-year-old ship with a modern grab drive, it'd be him. We'll coordinate our engineering team with his when you return. Though you may have to help the Constance engineers prepare for it on their end. Good luck. Right. On behalf of the Paradiso group, we appreciate your help. The bomb's right. Thank you. I... We don't want to compete with Neon. Bayou's ruthless. He'll do anything he can to live. Not to be a downer, but this place is almost too I was worried about my beach body until...
until I spoke with that lady at the camp. Some of our guests think everything is complimentary. Yet another nice day in parody, so... They're all nice days, I guess. Please, let the concierge know. We've got some of the best private security. appreciated. Is there any assistance I may offer you today? Actually, a question. Usually, when I come here, the shuttle takes a certain route, showing me the beauty of this world. But this time, our entries seem to take uh, longer, and we pass by a lot more open water. Was there something wrong with our normal flight path? I heard the rumors of a ship in orbit. Please allow me to apologize for this inconvenience. This alternate entry was required due to a meteor shower affecting the usual descent route. Nothing to worry about. To make up for this, allow me to credit your account with a 15% discount on spa amenities. Once again, we are dreadfully sorry. It's okay, Viator. I know you're programmed to be overly concerned with your service. I just wanted to know why, but thank you for crediting my account anyway. Hey. I noticed you arriving at port shortly after I did. Something's been bothering me, and I've been dying to ask another guest. They told us there was a very active... Why, that sounds even more ridiculous than what they told me. If there was a ship, they'd just say it was a ship. And why would they divert us for a ship? There are always huge luxury liners coming into port, and they've never diverted the shuttles before. I'm sorry for bothering you. <laughs> a ship. Well, at least you made me laugh. Captain Aaron. You require my assistance. Systems looking good, boss. Never trained to address threats coming from outside of ship. Sure, 
sure is nice to know there are other people out there. Never seen a ship like yours before. And then again. These are exciting times, aren't they? Just stay out of trouble. Just because our equipment's old doesn't mean it won't work to take down trouble. I'm glad you weren't some sort of... The 
constant as it is. Captain on deck. We're free. Captain Aaron, it is pleasant to see you.